guys, it's your girl Shana Renee and we are back for another weekly vlog. I'm super excited because this is my first time just getting back on the camera after having COVID. Listen, that was like the worst time ever, but this is my first time doing my makeup and really getting back on camera. So I'm really happy because I'm just trying to get myself ready for these next few months. And as you guys already know, Valentine's Day is next month. It is January 26th as I'm recording this video today. That means we're almost two weeks, like... A little over two weeks until the day of love. So I don't know about you guys, but I love Valentine's Day. And I'm not going to lie, it took me a while to love Valentine's Day. But I think everybody, every woman, everybody, every man, whoever, everybody should feel loved on Valentine's Day. I don't care. Yes, it's a one-day holiday. You should feel loved all year round. But on Valentine's Day, it's very important to make your significant other feel loved. And that's just on period. So I want to thank today's sponsor for sponsoring this video. Today's video is sponsored by Rose Forever New York. I want to thank Rose Rose Forever New York for sponsoring today's video. And Rose Forever is going to help us get ready for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned. Rose Forever sent me over these beautiful roses. And I love this royal blue color. It matches my apartment aesthetic to the T. I got the marble and black box with a hint of gold. And I love these roses. So listen, if you have not thought of a gift to get your significant other yet, ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect gift and it's going to add that perfect touch of love this season for valentine's day you guys can shop with rose forever on their website and save some money off your purchase with my code that i'm going to leave on the screen shana renee 20 for 20 dollars off your purchase you cannot go wrong with these roses it lasts over a year like this is the second time that rose forever has ever sent me roses and i still have the old flowers that they sent me and it's perfectly still in perfect condition like it's amazing so make sure you guys head over to the site right now and get your hand on these roses you don't want to wait till the last minute because like i said we have almost two weeks left till valentine's day and you don't want to play because if you are trying to stay in a relationship make sure you get these roses so make sure you guys use my code once again shana renee 20 for 20 dollars off your purchase make the right decision trust me so let's get straight into this vlog and i hope you guys enjoy Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shayna Renee and we're back for another weekly vlog. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing this week, but I mean, your paws are super loud. They can hear you walking all through this apartment. I don't know what we're going to be doing this week, but your girl is just trying to get back on track after having COVID for the past, I want to say, two weeks. So now this week is about getting back on track, getting my videos back out there, getting content back out because I had like content pre-recorded or content that I recorded while I was sick, but I just didn't have the energy to record. So now I'm back on the camera today. Um, <clears throat> what's today's date? Today is January 24th, 2022. It's crazy how the month is basically already over. So that's... That's what's really crazy. Like, it was just New Year's, and now it's about to be February. So, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, like, you know, I'm making some tea right now. Um, I just shipped, well, I just printed my labels to do orders and stuff. So, I'm about to head to my storage to pack those up. Um... I'm supposed to be like vacationing soon for Valentine's Day, so hopefully I'll be having like some get ready with me for vacation vlogs coming soon. Um, cause I know you guys like those videos, and I know you guys like my travel vlogs, of course. So hopefully we have some travel content coming soon. I should know like by the end of this week. Um, so yeah, I'm just really just prepping myself to get back on track for work. Um being sick is really like not it guys like i will tell you guys that firsthand like i had like literally no energy i was just not in the mood to do anything i watched so many series i caught up on euphoria um what else did i watch when i was sick i watched insecure all the way from season one all the way to season five like i only had ever watched season one of insecure so I, while i was sick i watched like all five seasons from start to finish it was so good i recommend everybody watch that bentley can you please sit down like i need to cut your nails because you sound so loud um yeah now i'm watching like ozark but now i'm like girl we not sick no more we gotta out the house get some work done you know um 
this week I'm actually trying to figure out if I am going to New York like my friend's birthday is this weekend and honestly I don't think I want to be able to make it and I feel bad and it's not like that I don't want to go I do want to go but now that I have my dog I need to find somebody to watch my dog and I don't want to bring him all the way to New York and right back for just a day like that doesn't make sense so being a dog mom is hard and on top of that like a lot has been going on like with my businesses like I'm gonna have to hire new people for, for work because I don't have certain people anymore it's just a lot so I'm just super overwhelmed and like I said being sick for two weeks did not make this situation better so this is what you call adulting having to make you know real life decisions and not just like decisions for fun or whatever you want to consider it but I gotta make a decision quick <clears throat> because it's just a lot going on um what else yeah i think that's basically it i'm just trying to like get back on track at work i need to take some pictures for instagram because my hair is done and i want to get like a little look for the margella tabby boots that i showed you guys in the previous vlog um I have it. Like, I found this one jacket from Urban Outfitters when I returned it yesterday because it wasn't really giving me the vibe that I wanted. Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Yeah. So, the boots are green like I showed you guys in the other video. But, for some reason, it's like I don't know if I can find anything to match it with. I know I can, but, like, I'm not really a big color person. Like, I like black shoes, black clothes, everything black. So, when I have anything with color, it's just like... I'm gonna make this work, but I don't know. Hopefully, we get a look this week, we get some pictures so I can get back to work. Oh, this week too, I'll actually be going to Laser Away um, to get my whole body laser. Well, not my full body, but I'm getting my legs, underarms, and a full Brazilian. All complimentary from Laser Away. So I'm very excited about that. Like, that's a really expensive package, and they reached out to me, Shana. And they said they wanted to do like a collab like when i get there we're gonna like record something while i'm getting lasered and i'm just they, apparently it's gonna be like a whole production team like that's what they said so when i get there of course i'm gonna vlog to show you guys the whole process i've never been lasered so comment below if you've been lasered and let me know any tips on you know how your skin was afterwards or whatever because i've never done this before and I feel like when I get there, I'm going to tell them, let's just start with, like, the underarms first. Just so I can see, like, how my skin reacts to it. Because I don't want to go there and do underarms with like, and legs only one day. I think that's, like, OD. But I don't know, like, how the process works. But I'm really excited about that because I've always considered getting laser done. But I just never made up my mind about it. And to have a brand like that reach out to me is super exciting so i'm definitely gonna be vlogging that this week i know i'm definitely doing that this week that's on thursday so today's monday um it's 12 p.m i actually have to go and work on coal and then yeah i'll come back on camera later and just update you guys on what i'm doing and then i'll see you guys and update you guys about what's going on in the vlog so yeah bye I look so pale in the face, but I just sat here and responded to all my emails that I had to catch up on for like brand deals, things like that. Um, while I was sick, I was not responding to any of my emails like for brand deals because I just wasn't in the mood to negotiate and do all these things that I typically have to do for that. But I'm so mad because I had one brand reach out to me for a collab with Even Hair Products. If you guys are familiar with them they have like edge controls and like different hair and beauty products and I used to live by their edge control throughout my whole college experience so I'm like damn like I really want to have this collab but the deadline to respond was on January 22nd today's the 24th so I hit them up and I'm like oh my god I was sick for like the past two weeks like I hope it's not too late so hopefully they get back to me and hopefully we can still make something happen <clears throat> because I would like to do that. Like, I like working with brands that I actually really 
have used and really stand by because it's just it makes it more of an experience for me because it's like I'm you know imagine using these products like back in the day and you never thought like you could get them for free now so it's really dope to work with brands that you really believe in and really like and have them reach out to you it's just like really cool so hopefully they get back to me because I would like to do that um, and I'm just going through, like, to see, like, whatever other emails that I might have missed before I head to the storage to ship out my orders from my companies. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just trying to get some work done because I've just been down and out. Um, today I plan on finishing editing one of my sit down videos that I filmed before I got sick. That's just like a sit down and talk through video while I was on my makeup. So I answered a few questions on there. So I'm hoping I can get that video up today and then my vlog up later this week and then this vlog up next week so I could get back on my consistent posting schedule. But that's really it. This vlog, I think I'm just going to make it a uh, get back in routine with me kind of vlog. Um, that's pretty much it. It's going to be more of like a working vlog. Um, I have to film a try on haul for this clothing company also that was Bindu. But some of the pieces that they sent me, I didn't like the quality. So I had to go back and forth with them and know like I'm not going to feature certain things. So that's another thing too. Like sometimes when you work with certain brands, like everything that they send you might not be what you like. But I tell brands like I'm not going to promote anything to you guys if i don't really like the product because it's just like i'm not gonna promote that you guys buy anything that i wouldn't buy you know so that's another thing i gotta do it's a lot guys but we're gonna get everything done um so let me get started because i gotta leave the house now but i just wanted to update you guys on what i have going on the construction going outside going on outside my window is super loud but this is an everyday thing until they're done. So it is what it is. I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. So I'm in the kitchen with my salmon. I'm about to make the TikTok salmon rice thing. I made this once before. I gotta back up. I made this once before and it came out really good. And I'm like, this is like the perfect snack meal. So that's what i'm about to make right now i'm just skinning the salmon and taking the skin off so yeah i'm not gonna be able to record while i cook because i need to go through my camera and delete footage because i only got four minutes left of <clears throat> recording space so i need to clear out this memory card this is actually the memory card that i used when i went to um Europe so I already know it's like super packed so I'm gonna just transfer all those files to my hard drive and then just start fresh so I'm just getting my salmon and I'll let you guys know when I'm done cooking and get back on camera bed right now editing <clears throat> the 7 39 p.m same day i'm just updating you guys on this vlog so right now i'm editing the vlog of when i found out that i had covid and i want to upload it either if not tonight tomorrow because at this point i haven't posted a vlog or anything on my channel in like 13 days so basically almost two weeks <clears throat> so i'm over here trying to debate if i should upload my sit down video first on my vlog i don't know either one either one is going up today or tomorrow and 
they both have to be finished. They both have to finish getting edited today. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm actually trying to pick music for the vlog. I really don't need to pick too much music because it's only like two um, montages in the video. So it's not like a, like aesthetically pleasing kind of vlog. It's just really videos back to back to back. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And yeah, this one's update. I just wanted to update you guys because I know I get caught up in doing things in the house or like editing or working and I forget to pick up the camera. But I'm like, no, this time for this vlog, I'm going to make sure I update you guys on what I'm doing. I got my laptop right here. This is my laptop. And I'm like on the bed. I just got like the um, Final Cut Pro setup thing right here. So I'm just picking music right now. This is one song. Let me play it. I'm just picking music for um the vlog i get most of my music from my videos on soundcloud as do most people so yeah i'm about to just use that song and then continue editing and just you know make my final edit so the video could go up like i know you guys want content for me so this is what i'm doing um this is probably gonna be my, bleh. this is probably gonna be my last task for the day I've had a pretty productive Monday, so I'm really, like, excited about that. Like, I did emails, I shipped out orders, I edited. Um, I did everything that I had to do today as far as, like, work. <clears throat> now I have to start knocking down some personal goals this week. I have to take Bentley to the groomers. I need to um, pay my car note. What else I got to do? There's some things I got to do this week. I got to um get, like, content done, like, pictures. That's the work stuff, though. But I have things to do. So let's just see how this week goes. And I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow. This is probably the end of my vlogging day for today. But I'll see you guys tomorrow, and then we'll continue. I want to make this, like, a week in the life of Shayna kind of vlog. But work-wise, I don't know. We're just going to see what happens. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. So it's the next day. I just woke up, brushed my teeth. Actually, no, I'm lying. I woke up around like 7.30. It's 9.47 now. But I just literally got out the bed, brushed my teeth, and now I'm in the kitchen. When I started my morning, I basically started my morning by um, responding to emails and doing like some reach outs to like a few brands. One brand I actually worked with in the past. And I started reaching out to another brand, but my computer died, so now I'm letting it charge. I'm gonna get back to that later. So that's what kind of got me out the bed. Like my computer died, and I'm like, you know what? Let's get up, start our day. So I'm gonna start my day by actually um, <clears throat> making my dog's food. I was supposed to make it last night, but I was just too lazy, and I didn't have like the mixed vegetables that I normally use. But I said I do have like some broccolini in the fridge, so I'm gonna just switch it up. So I'm going to make him the ground turkey as the base meat, which is what I always use. And I'm going to use broccolini and I'm going to mix in some rice. And that'll be like the new recipe that I try for him. Because I just want to try like different stuff for his food so that he just doesn't get tired of pretty much eating the same exact thing. So this is the broccolini. I'm actually supposed to be using this for my food. I'm just gonna make this with lamb chops, but I could give him like two pieces. No big deal. Um, so let me just get my cutting board out. That means finally coming out the room. Y'all hear his little footsteps? Yeah, he's finally coming out the room. He's like, oh, food is finally coming because I didn't feed him last night. I fed him yesterday morning, but I didn't feed him last night because we ran out of food. So, taking out my cutting board, I'm about to chop up the broccolini into some small pieces so that way it's just kind of minced up in his food um and i also need to put some water on the stove to a boil because that's how 
we have to cook the ground turkey. The ground turkey has to be boiled. But I'm not really about to give y'all a tutorial on how I make this food, but I'm just telling you that's what I'm doing right now. Um, today I have to ship out a few orders and I need to finish editing this other video that has to go on my channel. I posted um, <clears throat> a video last night, finally, and it seems like, you know, it's doing all right. It's not doing as good compared to my other videos, but I just need to get something out there because I hate being absent from YouTube for too long because then it feels like it takes a longer time to get back into that momentum, especially with me trying to grow my channel. I really don't even have time to take any YouTube breaks. Like I need to stay like consistent putting out content. So yeah for me not to put out a video before last night for like 12 days that's a far gap i need to put out videos at least every four to five days minimum like no that's the maximum i mean that i can go without posting like <clears throat> i could post a video every two days i'll be lit um i want to make this like a weekly vlog but then i also want to i was thinking about vlogging on thursday when i have to go do my laser and making that like a full day vlog like just wake up get ready with me for my laser appointment and just make that one vlog like i'm trying not to just limit myself to weekly vlogs because i feel like with the weekly vlogs it takes longer to post if i can get on a routine of doing a vlog a day and just taking you guys with me throughout the full day i feel like that would be cool but i don't know like what do you guys think about like daily vlogs it wouldn't be every day but like instead of doing a full week vlog like if i do some if i'm doing something that one day just make it the full day but then those vlogs would be typically like 20 minutes so i know you guys like longer vlogs but <clears throat> yeah i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments i'm gonna start making this food and i'll see you guys in a few <laughs> So now that Bentley has had his food and ate his food for the morning, it's time for me to kind of just get into what I got to do for the day. Um, so today I just got to ship orders like I mentioned earlier. I actually skipped breakfast this morning, not by choice, but I didn't know what I wanted to eat. So I just had an iced coffee and a banana. Um, and that was really it. And I need to eat more because I'm trying to gain a little weight, but I need to also work out because I'm going on vacation soon. So, you know, we got to get this body ready. Um, I'm trying to think. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do, like, some skincare. I need, like, a major skincare. My skin is so dry, guys. Like, oh, my God, this weather, being sick, I've just been super dehydrated. So, I need, like, major moisturizing skincare. I'm going to shower, and then I'm going to head out. So I'm going to head to my storage and then the post office to drop off the order. And then um, I got to go pick up some cleaning supplies from Target and stuff because I need to clean my whole apartment top to bottom. I just got a notification on my phone that packages are being delivered to my apartment. This is probably all my inventory from... Um, for my website, my clothing website, because I have so much inventory coming in. I have to do a shoot coming up soon, actually. So, yeah. So, I got to do that, too. And I'm also, like, training my dog to stay in the house alone. He, like, I always tell you guys, if you guys keep up with my vlogs, he has super bad separation anxiety. So, I have to make it a goal to leave him in the apartment at least once a day for a minimum of 30 minutes. Just so he can get used to me leaving him in the apartment i hope this works yesterday i left him in the house for 45 minutes and i recorded it on my computer just to see his behavior and how much he barks it wasn't too bad yesterday so i'm gonna do it again today give him a treat leave go do what i have to do because i cannot take this dog everywhere he be wanting to go everywhere he's used to going everywhere with me but his ass needs to get used to staying in the house so i'm gonna also do that today while i go obviously run my errands that's gonna be my period of leaving him in the house so let me get dressed, let me do my skincare and everything, and yeah, once I do all that, I'll probably show you guys the products that I use, because my skin is screaming right now, so let me get a head start on this day, it is about to be 12pm, and I, ha I 
because I'm training my dog to stay in the house, I kind of have to start, start, not start my days later, but leave the house a little bit later, like around 12 p.m., 1 p.m. So if he does start barking, it's not like it's early in the morning and I'm waking up the neighbors, you understand? So... Yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm leaving a little bit later. So if he does bark, it's not like I'll, I shouldn't get a complaint because it's not late or it's not super early. So let's see how this day is go. Let's look. Let's see how this day goes. Oh, and I also want to um possibly do my makeup today because I want to record some content for a sponsorship that I have to put possibly in front of this video for either a clothing company or a flower company. I haven't decided what sponsorship i'm going to incorporate in this but i'm gonna see i'll see you guys bentley i want your life okay bentley look at me he just be laying there he just ate so he's like super lazy right now so bentley you're not gonna say hi he's so unbothered all right guys so oh my god my tripod been acting up so I'm having lunch, so today I'm having sauteed potatoes with salmon, and I got like a little bit of ketchup on the side for my potatoes. I just came back in the house after doing orders, so now I'm having some lunch. I didn't have breakfast, so I have to eat something. Um, I literally, oh my god, I'm getting a cold, hold on guys. Hey guys, hey, it's the next day. I never came back on the camera yesterday to like um finish talking like once I got on the phone. Of course my camera is dying. Oh my god. Like I want to record this video for like this brand deal real fast. And of course the camera is dead. I need to go charge my camera. And I was ready to like, you know, do the video. Like, oh my god. So now I gotta charge my camera. Like I'm trying to get this done for the day. Like I woke up early. It's 11:30, 11:42 right now actually. Um, and I woke up like seven o'clock this morning, did my makeup just to record this video. And now when I'm ready to record it, and I'm like, let me do a little vlog before I record this part of the video. Of course, my camera is dead. Like, listen, guys, this is a process. Like, I wanted to get this out of the way so that way I could just go run and do the other things that I have to do, but now I gotta wait. Oh, I could charge and record? I don't know how to do that. Okay, maybe I could just, you know, but I don't really like this angle to record at. I don't know. The lighting is not really as good as it was over there. Hmm, okay, maybe I could like improvise. I don't know, I didn't really wanna be in the kitchen, but I do wanna just get this over with. Um, I gotta straighten up in my apartment. It looks crazy in here. Like, let me tell you guys something. First of all, today was my first day doing my makeup since I've been sick. And um, I really haven't deep cleaned my apartment. Oh, I am lying. While I was sick, I did clean my bathroom, like my kitchen and stuff like that. But like, I did not change my sheets on my bed. Cause you know, when you're sick, it's good to change your sheets. But other than that, like just straightening up, I haven't really deep cleaned my entire apartment. Like mopped, really like, cleaned up like the cabinets organized stuff like that i really want to do that this weekend <clears throat> because it's needed like in this apartment it's needed like but i gotta get some gloves before i start cleaning them because i don't want to mess up my manicure you know if you know you know you just don't clean without gloves um so today i'm hoping that i can finish just all my content stuff that i have to do for things that are done so they could you know just finalize those stuff and just so I can move on to the next task. Like, I'm, I don't like to have things lingering because it just makes it a longer process than it needs to be. So, I'm about to record this content. Then, I got to do my orders, print those out, do my orders, take them to the post office to get shipped. And then, after that, um, what else do I have to do? Let's see how much of my inventory gets shipped today. Because since my makeup's done, I might take my pictures and be the model this week. I haven't done that in a really long time, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see what happens. So I'll come back on camera a little bit later and let me do these things for work and then I'll check in with you guys in a few. Yeah, cause I'm like, no you did not. You definitely didn't call mine. I called you like a little bit after your trip. I was gonna call you on your trip, but I'm like, you know she ain't showing my shit. Nah, you could've called me. I wasn't doing shit. Did you guys know 
know that disposable gloves cost fifteen dollars. I don't know if I'm late to the party or I'm just figuring this out, but I didn't know that. Like, I just went to CVS to get some gloves because I just got a bunch of cleaning supplies yesterday, but I didn't get gloves. So I walked in CVS and I'm like, gloves is $15. Listen, the pandemic really did its big one because all of a sudden the price of everything is just crazy. Like, I don't understand. So I'm about to show you guys some cleaning products that I got. And if you use it, cool. If you don't, cool. But let me show you guys what I use. All right, I have my dishwasher on, so you guys probably are going to hear that noise in the background. But let's start off with the Febreze Air Freshener. This is in the scent Bora Bora. I never tried this scent, but I heard it smells really good, so I'm going to be trying that. Gotta have your comments. So I use this to clean my tub, everything in the bathroom. You can use it for the sink, in the kitchen, your like anything. You can clean anything with this. So gotta have this. <clears throat> gotta have your Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. This is, um, I think the original, it's not like no like different scent, but it does come in different scents. Gotta have your downy infusion pods um, for laundry. Don't get me wrong, like, the price on this has increased throughout the years. Like, I, my mom has bought this since I was, like, 11. Like, when it first came out, I feel like. And it's, the price for this is, yeah, it's not cheap, but needed. Um, I got this Scrubbing Bubbles Bathroom Grime Fighter. I usually get the other one that's, like, in a different bottle, but I wanted to try this one. Normally, I get the one that's, like, it foams up, but I'm like, let me see what this one's like. So, this is what I got. Um, I also got the Clorox bleach. Um, I use this for like my counters in the bathroom, even in the kitchen, like when I'm cleaning. But I picked up the wrong one. This is a bleach foamer. I'm supposed to just have a regular spray, but let's see what it's like. I'm not, you know, against trying stuff. I also got my Febreze fabric spray. This is in the Mediterranean lavender. I like lavender scent things because it's like very relaxing to me. And then I got the OxyClean um for my detergent i've been using that for a while i mean if you guys have any suggestions on better detergent let me know i also got um the lavender plugins this is a need right now for me especially because i have my dog again like you can't have your crib smelling like dog like that is an absolute no and even though i walk my dog from time to time like he uses wee pads and which i always change so don't even come in the comments with any of that but you just gotta have this because it's like you don't you know you have you have a dog and you don't have this get this please um and i just got some clorox wipes um they're split obviously because i should the pack but two um the disinfecting wipes use that for the bathroom and the kitchen as well and i just got some toothpaste this is the crest radiant mint and oh yeah and i got this i got this too a new um toilet scrubber change those every few months do not i mean i change them every few months some people when i tell them i change them they be like why are you changing it like it's just for the toilet but that shit is nasty like yeah it needs to be changed and then sometimes it gets rusty well this particular one i always get this one from target so i don't know if it's because it's just from target but even I, I used to have them from home goods too and it's like they get rusty after a while, so I feel like they just always need to be changed. But yes, that is my cleaning list. And now I need to get some gloves. I'm gonna order some gloves off Amazon. Hopefully they're cheaper than the ones that were in um, CVS because I just feel like $15 for gloves is just OD. Like, I remember when gloves used to be $5 a box. This is before the pandemic, I guess. But um, I was thinking about getting disposable gloves, but I was just telling my friend about that and he gonna say, oh, that's like using a condom. Like, if, basically if i get like the cleaning gloves he's like oh if you try to clean it after it's like using a condom i'm like no it's not but let me know what y'all think in the comments because i was just gonna get like some reusable gloves that i could use but i never use that before i always get disposable but is that nasty i don't know i never really thought about it like that but um i'm about to just eat a snack and then figure out what's left for me to do for the day it's already 3 30 like the day is t -t 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 done um yeah i have a few things that i still got to get done today but let's see if i could accomplish everything i do want to clean but i don't have no gloves that I might have to get done 
another day. Maybe tomorrow. But I'm about to just eat something and then figure out what I'm about to do next. Because I got to feed Bentley. I just gave him food. He didn't even eat the food yet. But I'll be back, guys. Hey, guys. So I'm in my room. It's a mess in here. So don't don't judge me. But look who's here. We got Bentley right here. And look what we're doing. Hold on. I want to show you guys like, what he does. Right, there he go. Like, he don't play about that ball, boy. He don't play about that ball. Like, <laughs> like I could, I've been doing this with him for like 30 minutes. Like, he don't get tired. Like, look, 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 look. You think, look. Then you look. <laughs> this dog is funny. Say hi, Benny. So Benny got to get a bath this week. Um, maybe next week. Cause <clears throat> we're gonna go one more week of being rough. But he gonna go get a bath at the groomers. Um, because he just. Good boy. Thank you for giving me the ball. He just, um, he's looking rough right now. And you gotta get him together, you know. He gotta find him a wife. But that's what we're doing right now. It's later in the day. I was supposed to come back on the camera earlier, but I'm on my dog mom duties right now. So, um, I be forgetting because Bentley keeps me very, very busy. <clears throat> so, one of my goals as far as having him and then working and everything is just to make time in my schedule to play with him and then just schedule my days better so that way I get everything done and so I feel way more accomplished throughout the day <clears throat> but once again I'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself but these next few days only because I am you know getting back into the group of like blogging and stuff after being sick for a few weeks so you know, February is the next week, which is so crazy that the month is already over. So, um, it's, um, the 26th. February is on Tuesday. That's super crazy. So, <clears throat> I need to start, like, planning out my content for February. I already told myself I want to get back into TikTok. I took a little break from TikTok just because I just wasn't making the content. But I kind of want to start making some more content surrounding Bentley on my TikTok. You know, get my dog some brand deals, you know. Just a thought. Like, I don't know. But I don't really know how to, like, get into that. But, um, because I do want to put him a part of my lifestyle. Like, as far as vlogs, TikToks, whatever. Because I am a dog mom and I'm learning a lot of things about having a dog. So, I do want to incorporate that into my content. For anybody that has questions about having a dog and stuff like that. Because <clears throat> a lot of things I'm learning right now, I'm getting it from Google. Obviously, YouTube too. YouTube has a lot of answers. But, like I always tell you guys, my dog has such bad separation anxiety. And, like, for the past few weeks, well, not a few weeks, the past week, I've been leaving him in the house once a day every day just so he gets used to me leaving because he's like really attached to me so it's like he's getting better like when i used to leave him before at my old apartment oh my god as soon as i woke out the door he's screaming crazy barking back to back to back so today was the first time when i left him and he stayed quiet for like 40 minutes long like that's gross and then he probably barked for like five minutes because i recorded actually so i know like exactly what's going on so i can monitor him but he's getting better so i'm really like happy because i want to see that improvement because for one i want another dog and two um i just want to be able to like live my life and not feel like i'm a prisoner to my dog like i need to train my dog and at this point i feel like my dog got me trained like girl he like girl i don't want you to leave in the house and i know that if i bark you're not gonna leave so i still have a life and i want to have a life with my dog so i just gotta figure out how to make having him work for me so that's what i'm kind of struggling with right now <clears throat> but i know it's gonna get better like i really love my dog like for those of you who don't know my dog bentley was a gift to me from my boyfriend who passed away justin back in 2017 from gun violence like a rest in peace to justin um 
so yeah, like Bentley holds like a really special place in my heart because I got Bentley literally like I want to say two months before he passed. So it's like I I can't not have my dog. Like I'm just kind of getting emotional just thinking about everything because it's like I really have like a special attachment to my dog. Like people don't understand, and I hate when I get overwhelmed about like taking care of him or just like can't handle like like him as a dog because he's a lot but this time around I'm like you know I'm really gonna try to make it work figure out everything I need to do to you know train him and just not be lazy about it because in the past it was more like okay the dog's a lot mom can you watch him or the dog's a lot I used to ask my mom's friend to watch him now I'm not really trying to put my responsibilities on other people like I'm really trying to you know really take the responsibility and really just learn and like it's helping my patients it's just helping me overall like with my growth as an adult so I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff right now but um yeah we're just playing fetch in the room so I just wanted to come on camera and talk to you guys and tomorrow um I have my laser appointment so I might continue this vlog and do this laser stuff on the vlog or I might just start a whole new vlog and just do I don't know a vlog day I don't know I might just continue the vlog and just make it a long vlog I don't know we'll see what happens when we edit obviously and you guys will see what I do but um that's enough rambling I've been talking for six minutes oh my god I'll talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow is a new day and Let's see how that goes, okay? Hey guys, good morning. So it's the next day. Um, I'm getting ready to go to my laser appointment with Laser Away. But before that, I have to handle a few things on my end for work. Um, I need to ship out some orders and respond to some emails, reach out with some emails, and just collect my new inventory because I need to do <coughs> a new arrival shoot sometime this week. Well, the week is over. It's already Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. So maybe this weekend for next week. I didn't have a model this week. And everything didn't come in time. So there's a piece of hair. Like, this in the way. But yeah. So today's going to be pretty hectic. Because I'm kind of like on deadlines for time. So I'm about to get these orders out. Go to my storage. Ship that. Drop it to the post office. Then I'm going to head to my laser appointment which is at 1 30. It's 12 o'clock right now so I need to get going. Okay so before I leave I want to discuss a few things because I don't know like how hectic it's going to be when I get there. So I'm doing lasers today on my armpits and my legs. I'm supposed to also do Brazilian but today's the last day of my period and I don't know, like, if they'll be willing to do that. Like, I know at, like, European Wax Center, if you have your period and you have a tampon in, they'll still wax you. But I don't know, like, if they do that here. But anyway, I don't know if I'll be able to get that done today. But that is supposed to be a part of my package with them. I'm supposed to get um, legs, Brazilian, and armpits. So anyway, today I'm going to get that done. And it's my first time ever getting laser. Um, I put up a poll on my Instagram yesterday asking people, like, what they thought. And so many people were like, it's like the best thing ever, like really great results. And they really like, you know, the whole process. So I'm excited to try it. But I'm also nervous because I've never got lasered before. And I just don't really know what to expect. But I am excited to not have excessive hair grow back anymore and going to get waxed and all that stuff. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm getting a laser with Laser Away. They actually reached out to me earlier this month to do this so they said it's going to be like a process where i go in i'm going to be recording with their production team and i could also vlog or whatever and i'm not obligated to really do much in return but of course i want to give you guys my honest opinion about the whole service and everything and the whole process so i'm going to take you guys with me today while i vlog doing that and while i get it done obviously but <clears throat> This morning, I, last night I showered and I shaved my armpits, my legs, and my private area. This morning I woke up, I showered, I just lotioned my arms and my feet and my booty, yeah. And my, like, all the areas that's not getting lasered, I lotioned, but all the areas that are getting lasered, I did not um, add any, like, lotion to, because I read something online saying not to add anything there, so hopefully everything goes well. So... I'll see you guys when I get there and wish me luck because I hope I'm not in there like 
I wish I had a time machine. <laughs> because if the pain is crazy, that really will be me. So I'll see you guys when I get to the um, location. And I'll give you guys a little montage of the aesthetic. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, so I just made it to my laser session. Like I told you guys earlier, your girl is nervous. So this is the amazing location. It's beautiful. And I can't wait to try everything out today. We're about to go inside right now. So let's go. Hi guys, Hi. I'm Christina. Christine. Hi, Danelle. Hi, I'm Lauren. And <laughs> this is an amazing camera guy. He's doing a great job, guys. <laughs> My camera's with your right arm. Oh. Right hand, yeah. Cute. And then let's shift your legs a little bit more on that side. Okay. Awesome. Cute. I'm gonna get a little bit closer and then same thing. Love it. Big bright smile. Cute. Right? You look great. The lighting is awesome. Yeah, don't look good. Um, Alright guys, I'm going in. I'm in the treatment room and I'm nervous. And we're about to start with my underarms, I believe. So, this is before. And I can't wait to show you guys after. Okay guys, so we're working on my legs. I hope you guys can hear me because it's loud in here. But the pain is not bad at all. Like, literally, maybe a 1 out of 10. Every now and then it goes up to a 2. But... Super, not bad, like it's not painful at all. I don't even know what to say. So I can't wait to see the results, guys. Like if I don't have to shave anymore, that's gonna be amazing. to laser me with my tampon in for the girls that get it you get it if you don't you don't but um it's a lot of information but i just want to let you guys know like if anybody did have like their monthly cycle you are able to still get the procedure done um it was amazing like this whole experience like for my first time 10 out of 10 if you guys want to come and laser away book k 
Arcadia. She was so patient. Um, I did my underarms, my Brazilian, and my legs. Out of everything, what hurt the most was the Brazilian, but it still was not even as painful as waxing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I just got to film a few more sets with them. Because today was like a film day. Like, I thought I was going to come here just get laser and leave. I knew I was filming something, but we were literally filming since I walked in the door. Like, literally. So, I should have put some lashes on. But I didn't want to wear lashes. So, whatever. Because I was trying to go for the no makeup makeup look. Because, you know, who needs like a full beat when they're going to get laser hair removal, right? But yeah, guys, um, let me hurry up and get up out of here because the yeah, girl is starting. So I'll see you guys in a few. Hey guys, so it's way later in the day. I'm finally home. Um, I've been home for like about 10 minutes. I went to Home Goods after you guys saw me eating and everything. So these are the armpits after laser. So apparently, like eventually, like the I'll get like a more even skin tone type of look under here. And the laser will help with like the hyperpigmentation and stuff, but I feel regular. Like I don't feel weird or anything like that. I really enjoyed the experience. <clears throat> the laser away I landed team was super, super nice. And I'm sorry if I'm like dragging my words right now, guys, but I'm so tired. Like <sighs> I've been up since 7.30 a.m. And I've been like just going since I woke up. So sorry if I just sound like dragged out i'm just really tired but oh uh, <clears throat> sorry yeah it was nice i like the laser i'm just really excited to see the results and see just how everything like turns out because obviously i've never had laser hair removal before so i don't really know exactly what to expect i know everybody is different and <clears throat> I put on my Instagram story, like, the pain from my armpits was, like, a 3 out of 10. And I gave it a 3 out of 10 because, like, some parts had no pain. But, like, in the middle area, it was, like, at, like, a 7, a 6 to a 7 sometimes. But, like, for, like, an average, I would give it, like, a 3 because it really was not bad. Because, like, it would be, like, two zaps that would hurt and the rest would be done. But, like, my armpits, the pain of my armpits literally only lasted, like, about, I want to say, like, Hold on, not the pain. Hi, you can send them up. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, the pain, like the time it took to get my armpits done was like two minutes. Like the laser under your arms really is like two minutes each. It was super fast. My legs took the longest. Like my legs took like about I want to say like 30 minutes to get done. <clears throat> my legs had zero pain, like zero. My um private area excuse me the brazilian area that took about like five minutes that was like the most painful part like the brazilian area that pain i want to say was like from like a seven or six out of ten certain zaps had me like whoo that shit hurt but all in all i thought it was a really good experience the location super clean super nice um, I loved it. Like, I can't wait until my next session in six weeks. I actually have seven more sessions with them. I get eight in total, so I'm really excited to see my results. At the end, I hope I really barely grow here at the end because that's when I'm going to know. But, of course, I'm going to let you guys know everything about it and keep you guys updated on my journey. But if you're thinking about getting laser um, hair removal, I suggest doing it. Like, the wax, um, waxing is way more painful than laser. That's what I will say. So keep that in mind and like the results are way better for laser it helps with like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that and you know i need that even skin tone all around baby so i'll probably show you guys my legs tomorrow or something because once i shower and stuff i'm not picking, picking back up the camera so uh, that's about it for tonight okay <laughs>
Wait, 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 wait,